go green 18. You know, the, uh, to like show my my nipples or something. I don't know. Or maybe from ZJ. You know, I actually feel like I, I almost feel like I'm a father to people like that because you know, even the amazing atheist, I know he would say, "Oh, you're not my father. You're not my dad. You're not even my same fucking race." Eat this sandwich. Eat this sandwich. All right. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Mm. Mm. That is delicious. Hey, delicious. Oh, I have this thing for young people. You know, young people are maturing. I mean, young people know a lot of things that we don't know. And they'll see a lot of things. You know, when I'm dead, assuming that, like, him, this picture I'm looking at, she survives. She'll learn things and know all kinds of things about the world. I don't know. It's things like my father, you know, you know didn't know. But, you know, there is a wisdom. It's more than just knowing technical stuff or knowing intellectual things. But there's something you call, it's called wisdom. And that only comes with age. As you get older, you begin to really learn a lot of things from experience. And I don't know how to explain that 100%. You just learn things as you get older. I feel like, I come here to teach people. But I don't really want to be preaching. You know, I'm not a very preachy person. Because when I was younger, I never liked people preaching to me. And I don't want to preach to anybody. I'm not here to say, well, you ought to do this. You know what? My thing is that with, you know, knowing what's right and what's wrong is something you know in your heart. It's something. All you have to do is consult that inner voice. That inner something. It's like when, when the way that Maslow talked about this. You have to consult that. If you consult what's inside of you for guidance, because to me that's what God is. God speaks through you. There is a God. God exists and God is real. Just like, what's the name say, like uh, Chelsea said, he's not some little thing hopping around like you guys are saying. I hope you guys' hearts are changed. You know, it probably looks like I don't know, fuck. If, you know, if you want to do the blasphemy challenge, you know what probably going to happen? If you say, I deny the Holy Spirit, you know what probably is going to be the case? Nothing. Probably nothing will happen to you. If you wanted to prove that point, fine. But you didn't need to prove it. You already knew that. You already knew nothing was going to happen to you. You felt pretty sure that nothing would happen to you if you did that. And chances are, probably nothing will happen to you. When you die, your faith is equal to my faith. Whatever's going to happen to me, that's what's going to happen to you. But still, God is real. You know, if there is no... If I don't believe in God because I'm going to be saved and spared from going to hell, then the real question is, why do I believe in God at all? What's the point? You know, it's like if you go to a restaurant and they say all the food in this restaurant today, for today only, is free. And you say, well, I want to pay... No, we don't even accept tips. Then why pay for it? Well, if they refuse to accept it, you still don't want to leave money on the table. You know, you just, yeah, okay. So you apply that same logic. Why should I, be because you think of believing in God as paying some type of price. Having faith in God. Look, forget about God and think about people for a moment. If I told you, have faith in me. When I tell you, if you do this or you turn this computer a certain way, or if you flick this, it's going to cause damage to your computer. Have faith in me. Trust me. You don't know that this is going to happen. But I'm asking you to have faith in me. Because, you know, in that moment, you really do have to have faith. Now, you could say, no, I'm not going to have faith in you. And then you go ahead and do it. And you learn. Now you know from experience. You have knowledge. It's like if I say, have faith in me when I tell you, don't touch this thing. This stuff right here is going to cause chemical burns. And you say, well, no, I'm not going to have faith in you. And you go ahead and touch it and get chemical burns. Oh, you well, now you know. Now you know. You know, we aren't really interested in knowing things. We're interested in enjoying life, 
and being as safe as we can possibly be for what little life we get in this world, even if you live to be a hundred, that's not enough years. You want to get along as well as you can and enjoy as much as you can. I can tell you some of the pitfalls. Stop trying to change the world. Like with uh, Kate, Cody, Cody, stop trying to change the fucking world. Stop, fuck the jockers. Don't even pay attention. Focus attention on doing something, being creative. Like, instead of trying to, I'm out to stop the jockers, fuck that, you full of shit, first of all, and that's a big ego trip you're going through. Like, somehow you've made yourself big and important, and that just stopping the jockers is the great thing of the world. Hey, bitch, please, get the... <laughs> I'm sorry, Cody, I know you cried. Oh, he called me a bitch, because you are, but it's okay. 